Spring is a time of renewal and can be a huge motivator when it comes to taking a look at your home and maybe showing a little love. Maybe you've been thinking of going beyond a traditional spring cleaning and maybe tackling some areas that have been crying out for a fix up project. But if maybe cost has been holding you back, we have the perfect solution. Do it yourself and there's nobody Ooh. better to show us how to get started than HGTV and DIY Network's Jeff Devlin. Jeff, you're going to help us uh, do a little DIY 101 today. I am because the fact I laugh a little bit that we've tricked ourselves into cleaning is fun is where we're going to springboard off of that for the DIYers out there to get stuff done around the house. That feeling of renewal, of rebirth with spring is exciting. Everybody loves it. And we're all tricked into putting the rubber gloves on and getting behind the toilet. When in reality, what we can do is maybe it's time to replace that toilet. So for the DIYers out there who have a little more chops, it's time to do those projects and get that to-do list a little bit shorter. Maybe you're cleaning your countertop and you realize it needs to be replaced. It's time to go to the store and grab another countertop or simple things like replacing the hardware on your kitchen cabinet, putting some paint on the walls, regrouting things that you can attain in not just a weekend, maybe a couple of hours that have a huge impact in your space and save you money. Everybody likes to save money. Oh yeah, and like you said, a couple of hours. So what are maybe some of your ideas of some things we can start adding onto that list? So one thing that I always tell people is add character to your house. It's your house. Now I can tell you 80 different ways to add character to your space, but quite honestly, you have to like them or you have to want to. Obviously upgrading kitchens and bathrooms, huge return on your investment, but again, you have to like it. One thing that I've seen leaps and bounds uh, is the use of reclaimed wood on the walls. Now you have the natural patina of an old barn wood piece. Now it's not like your old chicken coop wood. It's not like 80s paneling. You can have paint. You can have patina. You can also have the ax marks and this adds a story to your space and value to your house. Oh, that's very in right now. And when, you know, when we're talking about DIYers and you were talking about people that have those chops that can kind of do that, what do you really think is the biggest hurdle that people have to get over when it comes to tackling something on their own? It's always about starting and knowing what you're about to get into with any project. And I have those fear myself. Um, simple projects, when you hear the word like plumbing, people are like, nope, I'll pay somebody to do it, or I'm gonna go get what I think I, I need to make that happen. Plumbing is something that it could be very simple. If you're standing in your shower, you're ankle deep in water, it's time to fix the clog. It's just time. No amount of cleaning is gonna fix that for you. So simply grabbing products like uh, Roto-Rooter's Gel Clog Remover will release that clog without having to call the professional in. It gets something off your list, and it, it's a sense of accomplishment for many DIYers. I think that's perfect. Like you said, there's a lot of stuff we could be doing ourselves. Don't be too intimidated. It could be just as simple mm -hmm. as picking something up at the store. But I know there's probably so much more that we're not thinking about. Is there somewhere we can go online to get some more tips or go over the ones you've already talked about? Most definitely. Obviously, you can go to rotorooter-products.com and get all the information about the product that I talked about. But also, if you want a little more inspiration or tips, you can go to jeffdevlin.net, see what I'm up to. And we uh, fill in the blanks for some of those DIY needs that you have out there. Of course, we want to keep up with what you're doing, Jeff. Thank yes. you so much for coming in. Please. Thank you so much for having me, Tina. Have a great day. You too. Stay with us. We're going to be right back.